Hi, I'm Carl. In this video, we're going to have a look at question 60 and 61, which ask about capacitance. Uh, so we've got a diagram here in figure one, which I've copied out. And we've got two capacitors here. Um, 60 says, after being fully charged and before the two parts were joined, C1 carried what charge? So we've been given the equation we need here. Um, so it's really just a matter of plugging in our uh, numbers. So we've got this capacitance which we know for C1 is going to be um, 0 0.05 microfarads. And so we can say that the capacitance for one is going to be 0 0.05 times 10 to the minus 6. It's the units that are very important for this one. So Q is going to be 0 0.05 times 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by the voltage. And we're told that the voltage here is going to be 0.4 because that's the battery that was used. So multiply by 0.4. Great. And another way we can think of 0.05 times 10 to the minus 6 is going to be 5 times 10 to the minus 8. Multiplying that by 0.4 means we can get 2 times 10 to the minus 8 coulombs as our answer for the charge on that capacitor. And that gives us an answer for A then. If we look at 61, it says the percentage of charge that was transferred from C1 to C2 after the two parts was closest to what? Okay, so really we need to think about um, the ratios of the capacitance here. We've got C1 uh, to C2. We'll just make this ratio. We know C1 has a um, capacitance of this and C2 is a capacitance of 0.1. And so we have a 1 to 2 ratio, meaning that two thirds of the electric charge will go to C1 and one third will stay at C1. Sorry, two thirds will go to C2 and one third will go to C1. So if we were to put this in terms of percentages, we'd have 67% roughly going towards C2 and 33% roughly staying at C1. That means that um, this is closest to 70%. So the answer for this one is going to be C. So those were some short questions on capacitance, questions 60 and 61 uh, of the Green Booklet. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.